Hi guys, I hope you're well today. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Focus on Marriage and Family. My name is Sylvia Jambi. I know many people know me as an events planner and organizer because that's what I do on a daily basis. But there's so many other things that I'm passionate about. And one of the things that I love to do, or rather I have grown to love, is work around young marriages and families. And I studied counseling psychology and I majored both in addictions counseling and marriage and family therapy. And I feel, by the way, I feel as though you can't separate the two. I, I actually, I feel as though you can't separate the two. But those are the two areas that I majored in. Um, probably the reason why I'm so passionate about young marriages is because I got married when I was young. I got married when I was 26 years. And um, I'll tell you for sure that I, there are things that I know today that I wish I knew. <laughs> of course, I had to, for me, it's been a learning journey. It's been a learning journey. And I think it's been a learning journey for everyone. Um, young marriages are failing today. Um, and there's a lot of struggle in young marriages and in young families. I actually met my friend the other day and I was asking her, you know, like, what is it that makes you fear getting married? Because she constantly says the way she fears getting married. And she was like, 90% um, of marriages are failed. Why do, I, why do I want to walk into the death trap? I am not walking into that death trap. And first I was taken aback because I was like, 90%, 90%, you know, that's a huge number. I, I don't have the proper statistics, but I know that young marriages are failing. I know that young marriages also are struggling and young families are struggling and people are struggling to keep their marriages afloat. But I began this channel because I want to shed light on this area. And I want us to, you know, join hands, put the issues on the table, speak candidly about these issues. What are these issues that are in in young marriages? What is it that we are, like, where are we going wrong, guys? Because there's somewhere we are going wrong. What is it that we are doing wrong? Yeah, so I want I, I want us to discuss you know discuss these issues and be able to offer solutions as well because I believe that there's solution there are solutions for everything. By the way, I'm a strong strong believer that marriages work. I am a strong believer that marriages work, and above all, I am a strong believer that marriage is a God given institution. And we get into marriages thinking that it's about us, but it's not about us. Marriage is about God. Marriage is about God. When I look, by the way, you know. <laughs> I've just remembered a story. You know, when I when I got married, rather, you know, uh, before I got married, some of the advice that I could hear is that, I mean, when you're angry at someone, rather when you're angry at your husband, just drink a sip of water. Drink a sip of water so that you don't talk back at them. You know, and I actually tried this, by the way. I, I, I tried to do this. Yes, yes, I did try. And it is, it, I was not successful. I was not successful because, um, of course, in anger, can you imagine remembering to, to drink some water so that you don't talk to this person? I'm also that person. By the way, when I got married, I used to be that person who would speak quickly. Like I was quick to speak, quick to speak, quick to act, quick to do things. And I'll say that over time, to be honest, I have learned a lot. I'm very slow to do those things, slow to speak and slow to act because... I mean, anyway, it comes with a package and you learn along the way. But anyway, there is so much that is not told in marriages. You know, like people don't want to discuss the issue, the, these issues. Sorry, yes. Um, <laughs> people don't want to discuss the issues that surround young marriages. People don't want to say what is in there. But um, I do know that. I mean, like when I look at um, the, some of the key reasons why, why young marriages are failing, you know, um, like, let me take, for example, just from the blues, let me take infidelity, for example. People just don't wake up and decide to be unfaithful. There's a reason. There's a reason. And part of the, uh, part of the reason why I want us to, to talk about these things is because I want us to bring the issues to the surface. I want us to see why is it that people, someone will wake up one day, a man, a woman, decide, I want to see someone else outside my matrimonial home. Why is that happening? Because there's, there's a reason. Not even, probably not even one, many reasons, you know. But we are quick to just say, you know, women now, uh, men nowadays, they must have a side cheek and women must have, you know, another guy on the side. But, um, well, while that is happening today, it doesn't have to happen. It doesn't have to happen. And we are in marriages and we are not willing to work, in, to work on them, you know. I want us to see, why have we given up on the marriage institution? You know, why don't we want to work on these issues? And I know that you have so many reasons on your mind. And I am looking forward to this. I am definitely looking forward to this. Next week, I want us to discuss temperaments. And the reason why I want us to discuss temperaments is probably because this is the number one challenge that I faced when I got married. I have been married to Davis Mugambi. Yes, 
one husband, yes, for the past seven years. And I'll say that it's been a learning journey. It's been a learning journey for me. And when I got, we are of different temperaments. And for us, we struggled, you know, we struggled before we actually could see, you know, clearly this is where the problem is. We really, really, really struggled. I want us to discuss temperaments. Um, when we talk temperaments, we're talking about the cholerics, phlegmatic, sanguines, and melancholics. But then, you know, when you're dating, <laughs> it's not easy to know. Like, um, okay, you can know what your, what temperament your, your, your uh, girlfriend or boyfriend is, but it's also very easy to confuse their temperaments. The reason being, you may think that your girlfriend is very tidy and they're very organized. The reason being, every time you go to their house, the house is sparkling clean, you know, and that's what you fall in love with, you know? Maybe that's what you fall in love with. And when, then when you get married, you realize that, oh my God, this is the, like the most untidy person I have ever, ever met, you know? Or you'll actually think uh, that your husband is this considerate person, they are kind, they are respectful, you know, and they do all these things. And then you realize, when you get married, you realize that they are not anything close to that. You knowing your uh, spouse's temperament is very, very important. Knowing your own temperament is also very important. It helps you deal with a thing or two, you know. Um, and because we are all learning, you know, I want us to be able to to speak candidly and lay the issues out there. So I want you to join me next week as we do this. But most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share this video. And don't forget to tell your friend, to tell another friend, to tell another friend, to tell another friend to join us next week as we continue on the temperaments. And I hope you can learn a thing or two.